K, J, and that's you, you eat. And yes, man, give your arms a shake. Okay, so from here, elbows in, just gonna turn the elbow, flick the back of the hand, come back, turn the elbow, flick the back of the hand, come back, turn the elbow, flick the back of the hand, and back. So we're gonna use that Urikinuchi, so we're making that back fist, okay? Just think, open the shoulder, strike, come back, open the shoulder, strike, come back, left and right, ready, itch, knee, top, chi, go, rook, Teach, hatch, Q, Q. Okay, now we have the punch. So we're gonna go strike, punch, come back. Strike, punch, come back. And this is all about opening up the shoulders and using hips. So you wanna work that full range of motion. Full range of motion. Full range of motion, yeah? Okay, go to my, to start with the left hand. Ready, go, itch. Strike, punch, go. Knee, strike, punch, go. So, G. I know what's wrong. That's better. So I'm looking at the TV here and the camera's offline. Go, sitch. Go, H. G. One more, G. And back to you, you uh, yes, mate. Okay, last one. From here, I'm just going to turn to the same back fist back behind me over my shoulder. So I'm rotating, striking to the back, rotating, striking to the back. All right, so start with the little, uh, left side first. Ready to go? Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, arch, q. Two, and back to your, your, and that's me. Okay, so it's this rotation of the hip, both forward when we punch and to the back, okay, that allows for uh, movement of the torso to generate speed and power, okay? So what we're gonna do here, you're gonna start, I'm just gonna bring my heel up, look back, and imagine here like I'm gonna hold on to the purpose of this, I'll, I'll say the TV. So I imagine here I'm gonna hold on to the TV and then at the same time, I'm gonna kick back with that leg, yes? I'm gonna make a back kick. So just bring your hand in front. What I don't wanna do is turn over to my body. I wanna allow the leg to go back, kick and come back. So I'm kicking with my toes facing down. Kicking with my toes facing down. So for the purpose of this one, what I don't wanna do is rotate the hip. I want to try and keep the hip relatively stable. Turn at 45 degrees at the full extension of the kick. Okay, if I overturn the hip, then the foot comes through and it becomes a side kick. Okay, we're gonna do that one next. But from here, I just want to tuck my chin, look over my shoulder, kick back and come back. Ready, go. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, hook, sitch, hutch. Two, two, and uh, yes, mate. Okay, so we keep that same motion with this back fist movement now. So I make the back fist, bring the knee up in the same fashion, but then I kick out to the side. So before we kick with the toes pointing down, this time I'm going to kick with the toes pointing out to the side. So I'm going to go back fist, heel up, and then the foot comes through with the side with the side of the foot, yeah? So essentially kicking away with the blade, okay? So we start on the left hand, ready, go. Itch, lock, strike. Good, now the other leg, knee. Good. Sun, get the knee up as tight as you can. Good, chi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi, Q, one more, two, and you and yes, my relax. Okay, so from here, this next one, um, we want to pick up the heel. Now this one here is probably the most trickiest of, of the lot here. We're going to pick up the heel in the same fashion, throw the back fist, bring the knee up here tight, and then we're going to kick 
out to the side where the roundhouse kick. Okay, so the, 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 the um, key you know, is as I bring the heel up, I want to bring the heel up and bring the knee through. Now, where I lose balance is if I overturn the hip. So remember before when we did back kick, I talked about not overextending the hip. The same rules apply here. I don't want to overextend the hip. I want to turn, throw the back fist, but the back fist end point is like my guide, yeah? I want my hand to point in that direction and by my hand pointing in that direction, it makes it easy for me to throw the kick. So I point the hand, I throw the back fist, one, and then the hand stays there. And that is my, it's, it's almost like my stabilizer or what did Dan call this? A circuit breaker. So it breaks the circuit here. One, because that there is where I want my kick to go. So I throw my back fist this way, I bring my heel up, and then I bring the knee around for the roundhouse kick, okay? Now, ultimately, when you do this, you should find that you're in exactly the same position if you were to start in a guard and step up and kick. It's the same position. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, do a couple of them, feel the balance, feel, feel those points. That's it, keep the hand hanging out there. So throw the strike, pick the heel, flick the kick. Throw the strike, pick the heel, flick the kick. Leave that hand out, Jaden. So strike with the hand, leave it out, bring the heel up, flick the kick. That's it, good. High as you can, get that knee up as high and as tight as you can. Nicely done, Sharon. Good, Rebecca. Rebecca, use that to see your hands moving all over the place. The less your hand moves, the more stable your balance is going to be for the kick. Ella, you need kick higher. Much higher, Ninja. There we go, good. Good. Look at where you're kicking, Jaden. So as you turn, strike, lift the knee, and then pop the foot. All right, let's do five to the count. Ready? Put your hand in front. Turn, strike, lift the knee, and kick. Ready? Ish. Good. Knee. Good. Sun. G. Go. Urko. Sichi. Hachi, come on, stretch, 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 stretch. Stretch that full range of movement. Ku. Last one. Kyot. And back to your yoi. Ah, yes, my relax. Okay, so good. So now, if we take that same mindset, there's no reason why you guys can't throw a reverse punch, turn, spinning round kick, reverse punch again, yeah? Very simple. Okay, because it's the same movement and it's just a working on that hip rotation. It doesn't matter if I kick here or if I kick here, yeah, with a big spin in between it. It just comes down to that hip rotation and that body movement. Does that make sense? Okay, we're gonna do something really, really, really weird now, but it'll make sense in a few minutes. Okay, give yourself a little bit of room. Okay, now remember when we're in our last lockdown, we had sense of breath come on, and we did this one, two, Three, come back. One, two, three, come back. That big what a kai stuff. Yeah, we all remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're doing something similar. But this is actually from a Brazilian dancing art. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to step back with my uh, start, start from a ready position. I'm going to do this back to front. So your right, uh, actually, let me turn this way. It'll be easy for you guys to follow. So from here, Lift your right foot and just bring your left foot 90 degrees behind you. And give yourself a cuddle with both hands. Come back and go the other way. Two. Come back. Other way. Three. Come back. Other way. Four. Come back. Other way. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Now that movement there is the very, 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 very first basic you learn in a Brazilian dance martial art called capoeira. 
okay? And the whole idea is I move from here onto this foot, and then I'll turn around and turn, jumping kicks, spinning kicks, all that sort of stuff, okay? And it's a really cool, fun martial art uh, to watch. I don't know how effective it would be in a real fight, but it's nice to watch. So we're going to use the same sort of footwork. This movement, yeah? Now we talk about attack, defense and attack. Absorbing, countering, absorbing, countering, absorbing, countering. So we talk about those types of movements. So what we're going to do now is we'll start from a guard and we're going to incorporate this absorbing motion then into leading into some of the kicks we've just practiced. Yeah. So take your guard. So from here, we're going to start off with here. Then imagine here, part of punches. And I'm sliding and bring my front hand down. Let me come a little bit closer so you can see. So I'm here, partner punches, and I slide my hand down. From there, I'm just going to counter with the same hand that's just on the block. Notice I'm almost in a horse stance position. From there, I'm going to counter. Back this with the front hand. That becomes my, my stabilizer. A step, or what did Dan call it? Circuit breaker, kick, and then I come back. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm absorbing the technique and then chasing my partner back with the back fist and the rounds kick, right? And we're gonna do three variations of this, okay? So the first one, I use my front, uh, here. I use my front hand from my guard, I absorb and I walk down. One, I drive off my back leg, drive the back fist. Two, so I go back to a long stance, and then now push through that back leg, come up, kick, and come back, yeah? Right, think, when you do the kick, this is your stabilizer. This point where you want your foot to go, yeah? I want that foot to come through that center line. One, two, three. So absorb, but, but. Okay, together. Here we go. Itch, absorb, strike, kick. Go, knee, absorb, strike, kick. Good. Sun. Chi. One more. Go. Leave the hand out. Leave the hand out. Sit. I like. And there's never one more. Hutch. Rebecca, turn your back foot a little bit more. Good shot. Q. Good. Jaden. More block. Block. Strike. Q. Nicely done, Bruce. Stretch the arm, Bruce. Use that long reach of yours. One more. Go. And yes, yeah, so mate. Relax. Good, 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 good. Okay. So the punch comes. I work this side. Okay. Now I'm going to come around it. Okay. Like the capybara, the whole idea of this move is to move out of the way of the incoming attack, which in turn allows the south counter technique. Okay, I often talk about the matador when we fight. We talk about the matador. One, two, same thing. So I'm going to absorb. Now, when was it we did this? There was a day the other week where we caught the kick, step in, took the front foot. Remember that? Yeah. Kind of, no, maybe, yes, sensei. Okay. So, same sort of theory. Punch comes, kick comes, doesn't matter. I'm going to absorb this way, down and across with my hands. From there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna counter with my right hand with a straight punch. And then this point here becomes my stabilizer. From there, I'm gonna make what we call a question mark kick. Now, for those of you that were training on Monday, we talked, we did a bit of this sort of stuff. So I wanna throw the hand, bring the knee in, and come back around with the knee. So I wanna go one, two. Does that make sense? So I'm making the kick come up and then it goes back around like a question mark. So the question mark being that way, so this way I'm going up and around with the kick. Up and around with the kick. So together from our guard, I move my right foot and I'm blocking both hands. One. From there, 
I bring my left hand forward as if I'm going to capture their hand. I punch with the right hand, boom. From there, I bring the right knee across to my left side. And then from there, the right knee goes back around. I pivot to kick. And I come all the way back. Sorry, it's difficult to do that. Sorry. I said that one. Step on my guard. Okay. Absorb. Counter. Punch. Knee up. Ground has kick. I come back. All right, so that's the movement. Absorb. Right hand punch. Right leg kick. Now remember the hand is your stabilizer. So I block, stable. Hand stays. Knee comes up. Foot goes around. Make sense? Okay, take your guard. Here we go. Absorb, punch, come around with the kick. Ready? Itch. Absorb, punch, come around with the kick. Yeah, good. Now remember when you lift the knee, bring the knee across. And then bring it back around like a question mark. Ready, go. Knee. Bruce, think. Good. Bruce. Bruce, 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 Bruce. Watch me, mate. So when I do get to there, think you want this knee to come there and then come back. Yeah, that's the one. Not easy, this one, yeah? Okay, not easy at all. All right, let's go. Go, five more, ready, go. Itch, absorb, punch, turn and kick. Nicely done, Sharon. Ready, go, two, absorb, punch, turn and kick. Good, Shay, make the punch to the head. Ready, go, G, absorb, punch, kick to the head. Last one, go, absorb, punch, kick to the head. Good, and back to your, your, and you have some more relax. Okay, so last one. Same absorption motion, one. From there, I'm going to go from that movement right here, I'm going to counter back fist with the front hand like we did before. But this time, I'm going to then from there pivot all the way around the opposite way. All right, so here I'm going 360, uh, 360? 360 degrees to come back with the counter, okay? So for my guard, it's the same block. One. From there, I use the left hand strike or cover or grab or whatever you want to do, call that with the left hand. From there, I pivot my feet. And my right leg from here comes all the way through and I kick. Back with that funny kick we did at the very beginning. So this one here is very tricky because I'm going to go full 180 degrees. Again, for my gun, I absorb one. Strike. Two, pivot your feet. My right knee comes past my left knee, this way. And I go around with a kick. So if I face you, now understand I'm back to front to you guys, yeah? So I'm here. One, two, pivot, turn, kick. Yeah? So I'm kicking with the right leg and coming all the way around. So everything about this, one of the big things, sorry, I keep looking down because you guys are here and the camera's up here. I should talk to the camera. Okay, um, everything about this, yeah, comes back to positioning. Everything about this, all this punching the air stuff. The only reason in karate we punch the air is to ensure that we're getting the full range of movement, okay? You see people that, that, that are beginners, yeah, and they do their front punch and it's like that. Really what we want is a hip hand rotation. So here's no different. Block, stretch, and as you do the kick, turn the feet, walk the heel up, bring the knee around, go full the, through the full range of movement of the different techniques. Does that make sense? Yeah. And if the reality is if you're fighting with somebody from a, now, I'm talking more competition now or in the dojo, and you manage to catch the punch, it's very easy to try the kick. You just gotta understand your biomechanics and how your body works. So that's what this exercise is. It's learning those biomechanics and finding that full range of motion for yourself and how to move your body. Then also your limitations, because obviously um, some of you are more flexible than others. Some of you are stronger than others. 
And knowing you and knowing your body well allows you to improve any sort of uh, areas that can be done better. Does that make sense? All right, take your gun. Here we go. So we're going to absorb. Um, strike the left hand, turn, go into the skinny kick. Ready, go. Itch. Absorb. Back fist. Turn, spinning around that kick. Good. Go. Knee. Absorb. Strike. Turn, spinning around that kick. Good. Audrey, look before you kick. Sun. Yeah, that's better. You just got uncapped fathoms flexibility. You just go, yeah, sure, no problem, sense. I just look my leg kick. Go. Good, nicely done, Jaden. Try and lift the knee a little bit higher. Rook. Good, Sean. Don't be afraid to follow through. Kick, come back with your right hand forward. And then go back left hand. No, no problem with firing the kick all the way around. Titch. Good. Hatch. Good. Q. All right, last one. Make a count. Go, Ju. And yes, yeah, I'm over. Relax. All right, roll your hips around. And back the other way. Okay, so that there all comes back to foot placement, knee lift, chambering, all those little bits and pieces put together. I was talking in the weapons class about when you're learning something for the first time, you need to break it down into chunks and go through each one of the chunks to then bring it back full circle, yeah? All right, feet together, bow, us. Quick drink, come back. When you come back, you'll need a chair with a cushion or a punching bag or a rope that you can hang off the um, balustrade of your or roof, something you can use as a target, okay? Uh, I'll demonstrate a couple of different options. A, B, um, there's some gloves here somewhere. We don't see them. Okay, if you have sparring gloves, you can put them on if you want. I'll put some on. These gloves are old, man. They're like 20 years old. These are worn by a world champion once. Some old bull guy. Cool. I love it. Shay's got her brother involved. She's going, come on, man. I'm just going to beat you up. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. So a few different options. All right. What I want to look at is, is um, similar to this absorb counter, absorb counter, absorb counter. But I want to focus a little bit on the hands now. So I'm going to give you three different options depending on what you're working with. Okay. If you're using belts, okay. The great thing about the belt is it forces you to look at the um, at precision. Okay, uh, if you if you can see Ali and Bruce, Ali's got a punching bag with a hoodie on it, and then the hoodie's got like uh, these little red bits of tape. Okay, and if you notice at the club, the focus meter got a little red black dot of, of tape on them for that exact same purpose. Okay, everything comes back to your ability to hit a singular target. Understand, you know, people go, oh, you know, boxes are really strong, they're really big, they're, you know, but you've also got to remember boxes got big 16 ounce punching gloves. So when they hit you, yeah, if they miss by a little bit, it doesn't make so much, matter so much. But when your hand is little and you try and hit somebody and you want to knock them out, you want to get rid of them, you need to make sure that you're on target. Does that make sense, yeah? Okay, so for the purpose of this first, first exercise, going back to this absorption counter uh, movement we did before, Okay, I want to, I want to, just, I want to 
from my dive position, I want to work my legs. From here, I'm going to go onto my back foot. Then from there, off that back foot, I'm going to turn back forward and then throw my punch. What I'm ultimately doing here is I'm practicing the absorption and then the counter. So again, same here, ready, ready, ready. Absorb onto the back foot, load that leg, come forward and I stay low through the transition and then I slide into the punch. So this could be a block, this could just be a dodge, it could be just to get out of the way, but I'm working on loading the legs and then transition the weight back forward. So I go from here, absorb, counter. If I'm working with a pad on the chair, simple. I start with my foot next to the chair. From here, I go back onto that back leg like I'm running away. And then from back, boom, with a punch. With a punching bag, same theory. With a punching bag, a little bit tougher, you need to be mindful that your punch is not skimming off the bag. So when I punch here, I want to absorb. You see, when I hit my bag, my bag is bouncing back and forth. If you're skimming your punch off, that's not where you want to be. You want to be direct. Here, absorb. Here, absorb. Here. Must be long movement. Okay, that's the exercise. I'll forget. Absorb. Counter. Good. Keep your elbows in. Don't let this hand when you try the punch come out. Keep it tight. Like Thomas the Tank Engine. Choo, 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 choo. Elbows in. Boom. Good. Bruce, you're hacking the pad. Don't hack it. Good. Declan, turn your hips more. Good, Sha. Now, Sha. Move your body. Absorb, counter. There you go. So you move your shoulders. Back, forward. There we go. But without the step in between. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Without the step in between. So I want to go here. Absorb, counter. Yeah, that's better. So you want to cut out that middle step. All right, Bruce. You're gonna break your arm. So you're hitting the bag with your arm like that. Here. No, you're still here. I want you to punch like this, Bruce. Turn your fist that way. Punch that way five times. Do five punches like that. Because then because you wouldn't want to end up there, not here. Yeah. Yeah, throw the punch. Keep your elbow in. Now turn your hip. Yeah, that's better. Turn your hip. No, that's your elbow. See your elbow's coming out? Don't bring that elbow out. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Tuck it in all day long, man. Good. Now, Rebecca, Rebecca, the punch is really good, but the recovery is not there. So you need to think punch, push off this leg back. One, two. You want that long movement there. Good, Sha, Sha. Both hands. At the moment, at the moment, watch, watch, watch. You're punching here. See my body? See my hips not moving? You think your hips moving, but it's actually not. What I want you to do here is, is I want you to change your hands right through. So actually change your hands right through because it forces you to use that full rotation. Yeah, try that. All right, yeah, mate. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend the next couple of minutes, we're gonna look at what we call a second effort. Then we're gonna do one more technique in this set. We'll do one round of shadow sparring and then we're gonna do some cuts to finish up with. Okay, so what, we, what, does anyone know what a second effort is? Can somebody tell me? Going once, going twice. Anyone wanna take a guess, second effort? Audrey? I would assume it's when your first attack doesn't make contact, so then you go again. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, makes sense, yeah. So it's about how do I, from this position, 
set up to go again. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna give you two options. So what we wanna do is go, pause, go again. Go, pause, go again. Does that make sense? So from here, um, I'll use the belt to start off with here. What I wanna do is start in my guard, I absorb. So again, I'm, I'm working on that counter. Absorb, counter, that's the first one. Now from here, I'm gonna give you two options. Pull the hand back, then go again to the head. So I get that double action. So go, absorb, one, two. So the first one is to the body, the second one is to the head. That's option A, yeah? Okay, option B. Same thing, absorb, counter, but this time, boom, I throw the front hand. Okay, so I go, absorb, counter, boom, off of the front hand, yeah? So I take my pause, I know I miss, okay, there's my second counter. So if we look at the back, same thing, absorb, Shudan, Shudan. Absorb, Shudan, or front hand. And when I throw the front hand, I move off to the side. And why would that be, Zeth? You would be going off the side so they don't hit you on their counter. Exactly, because I've got to be thinking, where's their punch coming? Their punch is coming here. So maybe we clash. Go, hey back, hey over the top. Alternatively, I'm here, I go, hey back, hey over the front hand. Okay, so two options there. Pick one. Off you go. Absorb, back, boom, boom. Nice. Good shot, good. Think about both those hands. Both hands move, nice, good girl. Now from there, Shah, on that second punch, throw the second punch now. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. One back, two back, throw the second one. Now step, go that way, go away from the camera. Now kick with your left leg. Boom, yes, like that. Here we go, straight, straight, break, kick. Good, Jaden, Jaden. Okay, says so they're gonna come to your house. You know those ancient stretching machines? They used to pull people on and stretch them. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the medieval ones, yeah. You need to stretch, man, stretch, stretch, stretch. A little bit. A little bit short, yes, longer, longer, longer. Leave, give yourself more room and really stretch as long as you can. Yes, use that lion body, good. Use that hip. Come on, man. We're turning you into a lean, mean, speed machine. Ali, Ali, too much like a robot going through that exercise. Relax, speed. Ba ba. Yeah, better. Audrey, too much, too much, too much. You make too much effort. Too much here. Not enough here. Play, play, play. Get down. Play, play, play. Yeah. yeah. Too robotic, too one dimensional. You make me go to sleep because the Zoom is delayed. Oh, sorry. But also, it just started raining, so it's real slippery. So, oh, awesome! Excellent <laughs> footwork. The more rain, yeah. the better. Yeah, that's what happens in Mount Eliza. It rains a lot. Nice. I love Rebecca's at it. Rebecca's gone. Yeah, I could do the kick like Shay did. No problems. She's at the kick here. Awesome use of the, um, the TRX cables there, Shah. I love it. Just don't punch the br bracket, dude. Why says I put glove? Good. A little bit more footwork, Jaden. Move. You're, you're, you're such a tense dude, man. I'm going to get you to listen to some, some reggae. Yeah, some bong, bongo drum music like this. Yeah, so we just relax and fly. Boom, 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 bada, boom. Boom, 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 bada, boom, boom. So I said lost in the 80s. All right, and yeah, mate, relax. 
Good work, guys. Fit together. That was okay. So we've done three defensive ones. We're going to do one offensive one, and again, we'll add our second effort. So I start about. Can everyone see my bag here? You can. I start about a, a meter away from my target. I'm going to break the line, similar to what we did before. I'm going to step, bring the knee up as if I'm going to kick. Remember my hand placement is ever hanging out. I'm going to step in, punch with the right hand, and then I'm going to look for the second effort. So I fake with the knee lift. I use that to cover the distance. Now no, notice, can you see my feet? You kind of can. Um, okay. 50 kilo of concrete in there. When I lift this knee, one, and I land forward, two, I want to be there. Press, press, lift. Press, press, lift. Press, press, lift. Press, press, lift. One. Second effort, over the top, or come around with the front hand. So those three options. So same exercise, except for this time we're changing the footwork. We're making it offensive. All right, last one, you've got two minutes, go. Press, press, lift, kick, punch. 